Exactly 10 days before Donald Trump takes over the White House, Canada's Prime Minister prepared by getting his own house in order. Justin Trudeau put some new faces into his cabinet today, losing some well-known names in the shuffle. Six key positions in the Trudeau government changed hands today. Among those out, Foreign Affairs Minister Stéphane Dion, whose future is unclear tonight. Immigration Minister John McCallum becomes ambassador to China. Three new MPs are in and three others change roles, including Christia Freeland, who takes on that high-profile position in foreign affairs. We'll have more on that promotion in a moment. But our coverage tonight begins with CTV's Ottawa Bureau Chief Joyce Napier on the motivation behind these moves. In shuffling his cabinet, Justin Trudeau had a few priorities in mind, first among them, adapting to the new American reality. Obviously, the new administration to the south will uh, you know, present uh, particular both opportunities and challenges, uh, as well as a shift in global context. I, Christia Freeland, and the Prime Minister's point person to direct and manage Canada's most important foreign relationship is Christia Freeland, who moves from international trade to foreign affairs. In becoming Canada's top diplomat, Freeland, a 48-year-old mother of three, will however keep the whole Canada-U.S. file, including trade, security and border issues. I'm delighted, obviously. Replacing Freeland in international trade will be François-Philippe Champagne, a former trade lawyer and businessman, a rising star in the Trudeau caucus. John McCallum, Minister of Immigration and Refugees, a senior and trusted member of the Trudeau team, takes on a top diplomatic post as Canada's ambassador to Beijing. It's a strategic move for the Prime Minister as Canada embarks on preliminary trade talks with China. Much of Canada's future lies in our dealings with China. <laughs> another senior minister, Stéphane Dion, was ushered out of foreign affairs and was offered another top diplomatic job as Canada's ambassador to the European Union. He is said to be thinking about it, but his days in politics appear to be over. Now I shall deploy my efforts outside active politics, Dion said in a statement. Politics is not the only way to serve one's country, fortunately. Of course it's disappointing. I Labour mean, Minister Marianne Mihaichuk is out of cabinet and in the back benches. And there are other new faces. Toronto MP Ahmad Hussein becomes Minister of Immigration. An immigration lawyer, he has an intimate knowledge of the refugee system, having arrived in Canada at the age of 16 as a Somali refugee himself. I'm extremely proud of our country's history as a place of asylum, a place that opens its doors and hearts to uh, new immigrants and refugees. 29-year-old Karina Gould takes over the democratic institution's portfolio from Miriam Monsef, who was widely criticized for her handling of electoral reform, a Trudeau campaign promise. Monsef is moving to status of women, taking over from Patty Haidu, who is now the new Labour minister. A younger and even more diverse cabinet, and Trudeau managed to maintain the gender balance he is so proud of. There are 15 women and 15 men in cabinet, Lisa, including the Prime Minister. Okay, Joyce Napier, thanks for that.